Hey guys, this is going to be the second part of my knife collection. This time I'm going to go through all my zero tolerance knives. There's only 14 knives, so it shouldn't take too long. Up first is the 0452 CF. It's a Dmitry Sinkovich design. It has an S35VN blade, carbon fiber handles, and a stonewashed titanium lock side. It's got a really snappy action. It's riding on thrust bearing washers. It has that 2x2 two two twill carbon fiber with a custom pivot. This next knife is the 0560, the Rick Hinderer, with a titanium lock side and a G10 show side. This is probably the smoothest knife that I own. It's the first knife that zero tolerance used bearings and a flipper. It has that drop shut action. Both the G10 and the titanium side have a mill pattern. It gives it a little extra grip. Up next is the 0620 CF. It's an Emerson design. It has a CTS 204P blade. It has that stone wash flats with the satin bevels. Carbon fiber on the show side with the titanium stone wash on the lock side. It has that Emerson wave which deploys the knife when you pull it out of your pocket. I also have the 0630 CF. It's another Emerson design, CTS 204P blade, carbon fiber handles, and the titanium frame lock. This is a common blade shape with Emerson knives. I really like the look of it. It's really aggressive. The 0909 Les George. It has an S35VN stonewash blade. This is a big beefy knife. Big thick liners with G10 handles. It has that big thick stone wash blade. This is one of the knives that I use quite a bit. I'm not a huge fan of the pivot screw, but it's a good knife for a user. The 0220. It's a Jens Anzo design with an S35VN blade. It's a full TI. Has that orange backspacer. It has a sterile stone wash blade. Has a black custom oxide pivot. It has the ZT logo press fitted into the handle. I'm not a huge fan of that. I would have liked it just to be plain titanium. Up next is the 0392. It's a Rick Hinderer design. This is a ZT factory custom. It's probably the most expensive knife I own. When I first bought it, it was 450 US or 600 Canadian. It was a limited model, so the prices actually went up. It's got a nice clean action. Blue titanium hardware, all made by Rick Hinderer with a blue titanium pocket clip. The blade has Rick Hinderer's working finish, which is sandblasted and then stonewashed. The 0562 CF, this is one of Zero Tolerance's most popular knives. It has that CPM 20 CV blade. It has Rick Hinderer's uh, famous slicer grind. Nice satin blade with stonewashed flats. Carbon fiber on the show side with a titanium stonewashed frame lock. It has a custom pivot in that 2x2 two two twill carbon fiber. The 0550, this is Rick Hinderer's first design with uh, ZT. Has an S35VN blade with a G10 handle and thick titanium lock side. 
This is the first iteration. You can tell the lock bar is cut on the inside of the frame. It's a big, beefy knife. It's been discontinued for quite a while. O three fifty CF with the S thirty V blade. It's a liner lock with carbon fiber handles. The stone wash finish on the blade really hides wear. So if you use your knives a lot, it doesn't really show all the scratches because there's already so many scratches from the stone wash. The 0801 Todd Rexford S35VN stonewashed blade with the full titanium handles that are milled out. This is a really smooth knife with a really snappy action. O four five six Dmitry Sinkovich with the CTS two hundred four P blade. This one knife of the year a few years back. This is one of my favorite ZT knives. I love this little thing. It's got a snappy, quick little action on it. The handle has that milled, fluted titanium. I also really like this 0808, the Todd Rexford with the S thirty five VN satin blade with the stone wash flats and full titanium handles that are stone wash it has a mirror polished pivot and mirror polished backspacer it has a really shiny satin worn cliff blade oh five six six cf this is another rick hinderer design it has that lmax stone wash blade with carbon fiber handle and it has a stainless steel lock bar it makes it a little heavy but it's a small knife so you don't even really notice but yeah that's pretty much it for these ones guys that was just going to be a quick video a run through of the zero tolerance knives and anyway until I catch you on the next video have a good one